Good morning, crafties. Today is Friday, January the 26th. And today, I have to get new batteries for my RV in the house batteries. Well, I'm off on another adventure. Calling this Desert 2024. Just me and Snickers. Okay, Snickers, here we go. We go bye-bye. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream of gold above A few days ago, my batteries were not staying charged during the night. They charge up fine during the day with the sun, and they charge up with my generator. But they were not staying charged through the whole night. I use a CPAP, and my CPAP would go off about 5 or 6 in the morning. And then pretty soon after that, the refrigerator light would turn red or completely go off. And that has to do with the batteries. A few days ago, when I arrived here at La Posa South, a nice gentleman named Bill checked my batteries and found that they needed some distilled water. Luckily, I have distilled water because I used that in my CPAP, so he filled them. But I think they had diminished enough that they were not going to be holding a charge. So this has been going on now for about four days. Yesterday, I did a little... Uh, sweep around the quartzite and talk to a couple of uh, solar places and decided that I'm not ready for solar. Even Discount Solar quoted me $7,000 for what I wanted. So I'm just going to be buying more acid batteries and uh, go from there. I'm going to Discount Solar today at noon and they're going to replace the batteries I have with two acid-based batteries at about $109 each, plus whatever they charge for installation. Wait batteries. a sec. This is Charlie. He works here at Discount uh, Solar. And what did you do, please? What'd you tell me you did? Installed two new interstate batteries for you. Okay. And they'll last with me another two years, huh? They should. Unless I can afford those lithiums. Right, right. <laughs> Lithium is definitely... Now, really what good. is the maintenance on those? Because I didn't know about my maintenance on the other ones, and I didn't put distilled water in them until just recently. Yep. On these... That's all it is. Just pop these caps once a month. Check your water levels. And okay. You, and you want the water just above the plates that are inside. Okay. You don't want them clear full. Full. Because then they'll boil over if you do that. Okay. So check them once a month or before every trip or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I try to do mine once a month. Okay. Just pop the caps, check the levels, and then if they need it, put a little distilled water in it. Good. I carry distilled water because I use a CPAP, so I have oh, distilled water go, all the time. Yeah. All right, now my CPAP is not going to go off at 5 in the morning, right? Because that's what not. it's been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. That just depends on your power consumption. Yeah, but day, out know? here boondocking, um, I don't. Um, I use lights once in a while, but if I'm using my microwave or something, I'm putting the generator on. Yeah, and even if I'm watching a movie, I'm putting the generator on. Yeah. 
Yeah, because so. these batteries, I mean, they're they're decent enough, but they don't hold a whole lot of amp hours. Right, you know, so. right, right. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Charlie. Oh, Appreciate all welcome. your help. Okay. I hope that you uh, liked my little video about uh, me getting new batteries. This may seem very elementary for many of you, especially the men, but I had never been taught or told about how to maintain my battery. Even my husband didn't mention it. So for all your ladies out there who are traveling solo, know what your equipment is. Know how to maintain it. Now my batteries were almost two years old and that's about as long as they last. But maybe if I would have put the distilled water in sooner, they would have lasted a few more months. Now I have new interstate batteries, thanks to Discount Solar in Quartzite, and thanks to Charlie for putting them in and talking to me about them. I will be taking better care of these batteries, and hopefully the next time I change batteries, I'll be able to have lithium. Okay, if you like the video, you think it helped you, give me that thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching to the end. It really helps me out. Okay, stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. Bye now.